SSDs are all the rage these days. No, not that kind of rage. Having transitioned from a niche item for tech enthusiasts to a mainstream device that anyone can install to improve the responsiveness of his or her computer. But there's a bit of a problem. Nearly any SSD will give you a noticeable performance boost over a mechanical hard drive, but as consumers demand even Faster and larger drives, manufacturers need to reevaluate not only the design of the SSDs themselves, but also how they're actually connected to a system's motherboard. Now, the most widespread interface for connecting SSDs is called Serial ATA or SATA. SATA has been around for a while now. We first saw it hit the scene in 2003, and since then, SATA has basically gotten faster as the drives themselves have gotten faster. It started at 150 megabytes per second and has since reached a whopping 600 megabytes per second. But for years now, SSDs have been available that can completely saturate a SATA 3 connection when transferring data. So is it truly the best way to connect a storage device to your PC anymore, especially a very high speed one? No, it was clear that something had to be done and engineers began to look beyond the traditional attach drives to the motherboard with cables paradigm and look at using an even faster interconnect. What they found was PCI Express, a general purpose connection that is power efficient and already being used for super quick links to just about anything. Graphics cards, high speed networking, and yes, even storage already. So PCI Express SSDs plug into an expansion slot on your motherboard that provides both data and power connections rather than being installed in a two and a half inch bay in your case with separate cables for each and can reach absolutely insane speeds. PCI Express 3.0 can hit nearly one gigabyte per second on a single lane. If you have a PCIe SSD, this kind of fast access to system storage can do all kinds of things. Improve loading time for programs, decrease boot time, increase overall system responsiveness and enable smoother previewing very IO heavy content in real time and much more. But while it's super cool, not everyone needs a PCI Express SSD and regardless of which direction you'd like to go when picking a storage solution for your shiny new rig, HyperX has SSDs that fit both your needs and your budget. Their HyperX Savage line of SATA SSDs offers fantastic performance with sequential read and write speeds of up to 560 and 530 megabytes per second at an affordable price point. Notice that's really close to that 600 megabyte per second thing I was talking about before. So if you're ready to take the plunge for PCI Express, then you need to look no further than the HyperX Predator, which can hit speeds of 1400 megabytes per second read and 1000 megabytes per second write. It also comes with a low profile bracket to fit comfortably into any system. So thanks for checking out this little video on SATA versus PCI Express. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe for more videos on the HyperX channel. They got all kinds of great stuff, some of which features me.